everybody, it's Mel here and welcome back once again to my channel, Pebbles and Peach Plays. Today I have for you guys a little house tour and if you checked out my last video, I'll leave it linked below if you haven't seen it and up in the cards as well. I did like a town tour and I've kind of based my town off of like the idea that it's like a little university town and so with my house I've gone with this same theme and done it like a little student house where there's like common room and uh, two different bedrooms for two very different students but before we do dive into the video as always don't forget to give the video a wee thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit the little notification bell too you guys know I always really really appreciate it and I upload Animal Crossing content very regularly so this is the common room so I kind of thought that this was a cool idea to have it I was like a study room slash living room like if you're in like a shared university accommodation so I kind of decorated it that way and I've put in like kind of antique older regal looking kind of furniture and I loved Um, I actually didn't get that arched windows wallpaper until really recently but it totally adds to the whole thing where it's almost like a university hall and I've just added all these kind of like rustic touches because it's it is a work area but I did kind of want it to seem like homey as well so there's like the piano maybe for I don't know if there was music students or something um it was like little books on the table and um, you can get in not that you can do anything with the chessboard anyway but you can get into the chessboard and the antique clock and then on the walls I have like the diploma and the little candlesticks and there's like the globe and stuff as well but I'm pretty happy with how I it's kind of turned out Um, I kind of like the little living room area situation too like I tried to make it look like lived in so I put like the hoover there and the the mug and stuff sitting on the little antique table and then back here this is the kitchen now I'm not super happy with my kitchen Um, it could definitely be a lot better but I'm struggling to find a lot of items Um, like the cooker and like just some other bits and pieces to make it more kitcheny, but I do have like the washing machine and the coffee maker and that's like a little like some kind of like a pasta maker or something I think. So that gap I've kind of left to put like a cooker in the middle there, but I think whenever I get enough stuff that it, it can be kitcheny, I think I will probably redo the whole thing and just move everything around. But as it stands like I don't even like that there's a pizza oven in there but I feel, felt like it needed some kind of oven so I put a pizza oven in there but that room will probably be get changed around uh, totally so I will show you guys that whenever I get a little bit I don't know a few more items or something to make it look this is my favorite room in the house this is the bathroom and I absolutely love how this room has turned out I know it's a bit like mystical looking with the cloudy floor but I just in my head it's like steam or something coming off of the bath I don't know it's cute I took ages trying to find this toilet like I actually spent ages um trying to get the toilet because I think it's so funny the way if you sit on them and stand up it flushes um and I have a little shower area and I did have like a rectangle bath down the corner but I put in this round bath because I got it quite recently it's kind of cute you can turn the light off or you can have the light on it goes pink I don't know if there's other versions of this where maybe the light's a different color or something um but I thought that was really cute as well and this is my favorite like when you pan around to this side this is my favorite spot of this whole room like I think in real life I would love my bathroom <laughs> to look like this I do not have that much space in my bathroom but if I did it would probably look similar to that maybe I'd even have a little seahorse in the corner like I do <laughs> like I do in my animal crossing house and then I'll show you guys like I said I done it like as if there was two totally different students so in this little room to the right this is the girly super super girly student room um so I've done everything really really girly I put this little scooter in the corner because I figured if they're like sharing accommodation maybe she keeps like her transport and I don't know why I've made this scenario up like don't even ask me but I feel like it helps um like I watch a lot of the sim youtubers and I actually do have a sims build coming up for you guys I know it's not Animal Crossing but I think every so often I'll stick a sims build it's something that I do enjoy but I watch um sim Lissy a lot and she always does this where it's like she creates these little uh stories but I think it helps ultimately with decorating because if you have like 
a person in mind then you can decorate a room based off of that person so whether that's you whether that's um somebody totally different it just creates a different vibe but um yeah that's kind of the first little student room which I thought was really cute like there was plenty of areas for her to sit and like had like the essay set and stuff sitting out there which I thought was cute now this room is a very different vibe this is the the more uh alternative student this is probably more my bag than the super girly room to be honest but um she has her little pet snapping turtle again another area to work at because I'm going with that idea still that it's university housing and then I decorated I, I created that um like all the covers that I've used uh, it's like a custom one I was trying to go for like a shooting star look it's kind of hard to make uh with the options that you have in the creator but I think it turned out pretty decent I'm happy with it um and she's got this little uh area of fortune terror I don't know maybe maybe she's into some kind of <laughs> witchy stuff I don't know uh, the only annoying thing is you do have to pull that table out to get to the golden seat and um, the fact that it's a golden floor I don't, I know that's a little snazzy but like once I've made that floor I was like that has to be used I actually I love it if I if I could have a golden floor in my actual house probably would have a golden floor but I'm really really happy with how this room turned out and yeah, if I had a big room for a bedroom, I probably wouldn't be far off of going for something like that as well. But that's kind of it for the house tour. I don't have the basement yet. Uh, as always, whenever I progress and have a basement, I'll show you guys how things are looking and how things have changed. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. I upload Animal Crossing content quite often and like I said um, I do think I'll stick up maybe a little sims build here and there mostly focused on Animal Crossing for now because it's what I'm playing most of but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next upload bye